Hey guys, it's Matt Munson here. We're here today with BTW to do some more work on the frame. Today we are welding plates onto the frame. If we have time, we'll also be welding side rails in place. And guys, seriously, a big tip for today. I know I joke about this a lot in my videos, but really safety first. I'm just tooling around the garage watching and filming, but I'm still wearing glasses. It only takes one random piece of burning hot steel to fly out of the grinder and into your eyeball to really ruin an otherwise great day. So please, if you're doing something like this at home, remember safety first. All right, guys, let's get to it. Uh, I'm just trying to square up the cut here. So we yep. put this plate on. When you say square up, what exactly does that mean? And since we cut it with a sawzall, you know, the blade could walk a little. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure it's all square before we put the plates on. We don't want it welded this way. Okay, right, right, right. And actually this cut's pretty good because it, it was pretty dang close. Now I can see a gap over here. Do you care about that? Yeah, that? I, yeah I'm not worried about gaps as long as it's square. Okay, so you want it at a right angle to the outer edge. Yep. For the viewers, can you explain why you just ground away the outer surface? To get rid of the oil, dirt, and debris so it doesn't uh, contaminate the weld. At this point, BTW is done grinding down the edges, they're all squared off. Now we're setting up the welder. Just gonna weld on the plates. I have noticed you've clamped onto the other side of the car. Is the ground just, as long as it's connected anywhere, it doesn't need to be close to where you're welding, it's just anywhere? It just has to be metal contact. Okay. And since that's a fresh grind over there, I'm gonna weld over here. It's all connected internally. So what did you, these are tack welds? Or spot wells or spotted. Okay. They call it tack, but and that's just something to do. You hold it to hold it in place. Yep. And then you do a, a bead around the edge. Yep. After about an hour or two of debugging the welder and getting everything working right, Bo is getting welds that he's quite happy with. And apparently, uh, this is what good welds look like. So I'm really excited about the progress we're making tonight. Today was not as productive as it could have been, and I think it's largely the fault of the welding machine. One of the things we should have paid attention to was this. 120 volts, 20 amps. We originally had it plugged into the wall, which is only set for 15. So what we ended up doing was plugging it in to the laundry. The other mistake we made was this. The flux core stuff is 0.035. The regular stuff is 0.020. And Bo was using the tip for 035. So we need to switch the tip out for 020. Lastly, there was a problem with one of these cables. It wasn't in all the way, so we weren't getting gas out to the nozzle. So a lot of things happened today where we had to debug the welder, but now that all that's behind us, I guess it should be a little smoother from here on out. Hey, thanks again for watching. We'll see you for the next episode of Rise of the Matmobile.